lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend and I'll help you carry on because it won't be long when I'm going to need somebody to lean on. For your spiritual sports segment on Read My Gospel Radio, I'm CJ. For your Olympic sporting news, Martha Caroli turned the U.S. women into the world's most dominant gymnastics team, began handing off some of her responsibilities Monday, the first step in what could be a secession plan as Valerie Luiken would become the elite athlete developmental coordinator and Steve Ray Backey becomes the director of elite athlete programs and the moves take effect in January. Usain Bolt, Aries Merritt, and David Rudisha are the finalists for the World Athlete of the Year Award. And finally, Olympic World Race Champion Alexander Vinokuro is under investigation for allegedly bribing a rival to fix a race as ongoing fallout from the Lance Armstrong doping affair threatens to claim another of cycling's biggest names. For your quick news and notes, according to the UFC, middleweight contenders Michael Bisping and Vitor Belfort will meet January 19th in Brazil. Former light heavyweight champion John Pasco, out of action since May 2011 because of injuries, will return December 14th at the Bell Center in Montreal and will fight Aleski Kuzminski. After Ryan Cohn dropped out of the fight due to a contract dispute with his promoter Don King, light heavyweight titleist Nathan Cleverly has a new opponent on short notice for his title defense at the Staples Center in Los Angeles on Saturday night, which is Sean Hawk. Marquette sophomore guard Todd Mayo has been declared academically ineligible and is unable to practice or play indefinitely. Former Connecticut coach Jim Calhoun has agreed to make his debut as a radio commentator during the Husky season opener against Michigan State in Germany. Washington State star receiver Marquise Wilson was suspended on Monday for an unspecified violation of team rules. Missouri right tackle Justin Brett would miss the remainder of the season after injuring his right knee against Florida. The NHL has communicated to the NHLPA a willingness to fund a healthy portion of the make whole provision to honor all existing contracts, a source close to the talks told ESPN.com. Fresh off his new deal with the Boston Red Sox, slugger David Ortiz fired back at former manager Bobby Valentine, basically saying never bite the hand that feeds you. Detroit Tigers third baseman Miguel Cabrera beat out Pittsburgh center fielder Andrew McCutcheon and Los Angeles Angels rookie Mike Trout for player of the year as voted on by their fellow players in the major leagues. Oliver Perez is staying with the Seattle Mariners after agreeing with the club on a one-year, $1.5 million contract. Melka Cabrera, who was suspended 50 games and left off the San Francisco Giants postseason roster, will still receive a full playoff share per union rules since the team played 10 games past when a penalized player may return. The St. Louis Cardinals have promoted John Mabry to hitting coach as a replacement for Mark McGuire, who told St. Louis he won't return after three seasons and appears headed to the Los Angeles Dodgers. And finally, the Houston Astros have hired Eduardo Perez as bench coach and Dennis Martinez as a bullpen coach to complete the staff of their new manager, Bo Porter. Well, they need to add better players in order to have better results than last season. Huh? This sports segment was sponsored by Naturally Relaxed Massage, where you can relax, release, and relieve naturally in the greater Houston area. For race and more information, please email naturallyrelaxed at gmail.com. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cj at cjsports.com for more information. To catch archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my innovative blog site cjsports.com and make sure you give me that follow on Twitter at cjsports and don't forget to like me on Facebook at cjact. That's C-E-E. J-A-Y. Tune in next time for more updates on your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and have a positive, productive, blessed day. And I leave you with Namaste as the divine in me salutes and honors the divine in you.